Hello everyone, welcome back to my gardening YouTube channel. My name is Emma and in today's video I am going to be showing you what I'm going to be sowing for my allotment garden in the month of May. I'm also going to be showing what I'm going to be potting on. Um, basically potting on means putting in from a smaller pot into a bigger pot and we do that because the plant needs more room to grow and the reason why I am wanting my plants to grow bigger is because I want them to be in a position where they can look after themselves when I finally plant them outside. So if a plant is too small it's probably going to die or its chances of survival are less. The bigger that you grow your plant before you put it into the ground the more chance it has of living and surviving slug and snail attacks or you know unusual weather that we have or a sudden frost or a I don't know a heat wave or something the bigger your plant is the better chance it has so 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 a few things that we can sow in May right now um obviously a lot of your salad crops can just go directly out or you can sow wherever throw them in they're fine like just if you're going to sow lettuce seeds throw sow a million lettuce you know lettuce seeds just sow a million of them and let them come up and then thin them out carrots you can direct sow your radishes spring onions um things like that just whack that all in okay i'm not i'm not going to be too crazy about all that stuff the things that i'm going to be sowing in pots are cucumbers i'm going to be sowing these ones which are the telegraph improved it's from mr fothergills and they kindly sent me a few little seeds to try um it says they're for a cool greenhouse or a frame so i'm going to stick them in my poly tunnel um, and they will need supporting as well so i'm going to sow some of these in some pots um, I'm also going to start some kale, it's a great month to start kale um, for a summer harvest so I'm going to definitely sow some of this stuff. I've also very excitingly got from Seedcraft some climbing French beans which are incredibly exciting. I've never grown these before and I'm going to grow them this year for the first time and they are going to live and they're going to be glorious. If you haven't heard of Seedcraft it is a seed subscription box, they very kindly um, send me a seed a free box every month but they are fantastic i've got a discount code below every month in your box you're going to get a few seeds that you can sow direct like you can actually sow that month so that the month that you get them is the month you can sow them so you don't even have to think about what time you have to sow them out god i've also got a discount code below so you can get some money off your seed box um your seed boxes and yeah they just send them to you every month so that this month they sent me some french beans they're called the fasold Fasold, fasold, fasold. So we're going to sow some of those. Also got some crystal lemon cucumbers. If you have been following my allotment diaries, um, you'll know that I planted these out last month and they just died. So we're going to sow these again and going to listen to my own advice this time and not sow them out when they're little. Also going to sow some more cauliflowers. Um, brassicas are something you can sow in May uh, for a late summer harvest, or you can just leave them and leave them and harvest them in the autumn time. I'm not entirely sure how long they take to do I tend to sow them in May and then I harvest them in the autumn time and then I sow another batch of brassicas in the autumn and harvest them after the winter so I think they're pretty much all-round plants brassicas brassicas are fantastic to grow really easy so let's get sowing enough of the chit chat so we're going to sow in two different types of things so we're going to sow in seed trays which look like that um, module trays these are um, so a seed tray wouldn't have these little sections in here it'd just be a tray and you'd have to prick it all out um, this is a module so I'm going to sow the smaller seeds into modules like the cauliflower and the kale but if your seed is bigger like a French bean let's give it a shake and you'll know how big it is you can tell um, then you're going to put it into it's easier to put it into a separate pot because it's a bigger seed. Right, I've got some. Oh my god. <laughs> Brought myself some Miracle Grow all purpose compost, and that's what I'm going to sow it into. It's peat free. Um, I haven't really experimented with the Miracle Grow brand, so if you have ever used Miracle Grow, let me know. What I'm trying to do this year is um, use different brands, brands of compost that I don't normally use and see what works for me because it's okay everyone going okay that's rubbish but I've never tried sewing in it so I don't know if it's rubbish. could be having me on. You could all have a secret that you're not telling me. <laughs> no it's not that. I just think it's good to try new brands so I'm trying Miracle Grow this time. See how it goes. Try and break up the lumps because when you're sowing seeds you want not many lumps you want it to be smooth smoothy toovy not lumpy bumpy like that we don't want lumpy bumpy we want smoothy toovy smoothy toovy right let's whack that in 
Okay, right now that's filled up. What shall we sew in here? I think we're gonna go for a few things. So I think we're gonna do cauliflower and kale. All right, hopefully you can see there. Otherwise it would just be like a podcast, you know? Everyone listens to podcasts, so if you can't hear me, just, just, I mean, if you can't see me, just hear me. I'll talk through it. Right, we're going to start with cauliflower. Now, I'm going to sew it in modules because I think it would be easier than doing it in a seed tray. I hate picking things out of seed trays. I'm not very good at it. Quick tip is to always pour the seeds out into your hand because it's easier to distribute from your hand instead of a seed packet. So just, that's a lump. No bumpy lumps, right. Just grab a few like that, sprinkle, maybe like three in each if I can if I can be that disciplined. We'll do two rows of this. And the reason we always sew more is because we always assume some will die. You have to assume the worst in gardening. You have to always think, what if it died? Which is quite a morbid way of, of looking at the world, but it's also, you can be optimistic and still be a realist, you know? I'm optimistic it'll all grow, but I'm a realist and I, I, I know it might die. Right, kale, we'll burn the other ones. So kale seeds look exactly the same as broccoli, just because brassicas are just, just hate us, it's like they disguise themselves. Right, so it looks exactly the same as broccoli. So we really do have to label these guys. And by we, I mean me. God, I'm falling everywhere, right. Now what we do is we sprinkle a little bit of this over the top of it all and just pat it a little bit. Make sure they don't blow away or anything. And we want really good contact. The seed's got to touch the compost. If a seed doesn't touch the compost, the seed's not gonna germinate, okay? So otherwise, the seed would be suspended, floating in space. How can a seed grow if it's floating? You know, you don't chuck a seed in the air and expect it to sprout roots. It's just not gonna happen, guys. What you've got to do is make sure it's actually in the blooming soil. When you start explaining it like this, it all just makes sense, doesn't it? Right, okay, I think I've told you enough information about that. So what we'll do is we'll label that, water it, leave it somewhere. Somewhere with sun and somewhere that's warm and somewhere where slugs can't get it. Probably indoors somewhere in an inconvenient place. Right, okay, that's that done. Now we're gonna sew climbing beams. So I've got this one, this module tray is um, a little bit bigger, a little bit deeper. I think climbing beams would be all right in here. So we're going to do climbing beams in here. Immediately forgot to label them. So hang on. Oh, I just said it like four times, label them, label them. Got too excited and just didn't label them. Now I've forgotten where they're bleeding are. Oh God, right. Well, it might be the other way around, but if it is, at least they'll all be together like friends. So, whatever they are, they'll be together. Right, same concept really with the climbing beans. What I mean by that is, you just sew them. Right, this is what they look like. <gasps> oh, I don't know if I like these ones. These are weird. These are weird looking beans, but okay, right, we're gonna do one what we'll do this time is put a hole in it like that stick your finger in like you're sticking your finger in an apple pie i don't know why i said that i just that's the first thing that came to my head is it the first thing that came to your head when i said that stick your finger in it like an apple pie i don't know why i thought of sticking my finger in an apple pie some kind of cultural reference there that i can't remember right we'll just do one per module because they're big and the bigger they are the more room they need it's a lump. You might also have noticed that I am just dropping them in and the reason for this is because I don't know what way round these grow. I could make an educated guess but it's probably going to be wrong. So if in doubt of the way it grows, grow it sideways and just drop it in like that. Because in the wild without us humans interfering, a seed would probably just drop off, go into the ground and grow. So I just do that, I just drop. Drop and hope for the best, it's the drop. Drop and grow, drop. Don't know. It'll probably grow. Okay, it's French 
things done. Fabulous. Right, cucumbers. The cucumbers are going into their own little pots because they're special, because they're bigger and I just think it'd be easier just to put them into pots. If you're wondering about seed compost, do I need seed compost? What the heck is seed compost? Seed compost is basically compost that's had a lot of the nutrients taken out of it. So it's not very nutrient rich. And the reason for that is because if you give seeds absolutely everything that they need, they won't grow very big they don't have a reason to because they've got everything they need right around them. You know, it's like giving a teenager, you know, doing teenagers washing until they're 25 and taking care of them and paying for everything for them and giving them an allowance. There's no need for them to be independent and go out and spread their roots and try and, and survive on their own. So if you give a seed absolutely everything it needs, it's not gonna spread its roots out and go searching for anything. So it's gonna stay quite small. If you take away all of its goodness, all of its nutrients, it's going to send its roots even further on the look, lookout for more nutrients and more goodness. So the idea is basically you have to be cruel to be kind because out of suffering, as we know, you get stronger. Um, and it's the same for seeds. However, multi-purpose compost works fine. So it's, it's a little bit money, what's it called? What's the word when it's like better for your wallet? It's better for your wallet. <laughs> just say that it's better for your wallet basically because you're just buying one uh, compost and it just does a load of stuff and it's always grown for me it's always grown very well the only thing is in multi-purpose compost you get more lumps and bumps and you've got to take them out that's it okay cucumbers if these explanations don't get me onto garden as well one day it'll be absolutely tragic they are missing out big time these are the crystal lemon cucumber seeds going in we've got a couple in there and in this one, I'm going to put some of the normal, normal, like the green cucumbers, you know, the normal ones. I've just immediately dropped the whole lot on the floor, so all my cucumbers have gone flying everywhere, so don't do that. Oh, God. It's me trying to balance too much stuff. I don't even know if there's a seed in there anymore. Right, we're going to try and water them without killing them all. Right there. Nightmare situation. Right, and these are all going to go into here, which is my little flimsy outdoor greenhouse. So I think it'd be okay out here. This is celery. Never managed to grow this stuff before um, because I've never tried. Not properly anyway, I just threw some seeds in last year and nothing happened. But this year I do have little plants. Can you see how they're all leaning over to this side? That's because they've not had enough sunlight. So they've all been stretching over. The reason I know that these need potting on is because they have now developed their real true leaves. So these leaves here, the first ones that appear are called seed leaves. So you can see they come up, look, here's one that's just got seed leaves. They're just little round leaves. And all plants develop these two little leaves at the beginning, okay? These are their first leaves. Then they go on to develop a leaf that's a different shape. That's its true leaf. Now it needs to be potted on. That's how you know. So don't pot it on when it's just got these ones. Wait till it's got one or two of these real leaves. True leaves, we call them. So potting on isn't like one of my one of the things I'm very good at. Oh, there's wood lice in there. Get off. Whole garden to live in and you want to live in my pot. Oh wow to explore. So first thing to do is to make sure you've got your pot ready for what it's going to go into because you don't want to be handling a vulnerable seed and not know where it's going. So pop some compost into these pots first. So we'll put a hole in the pot. That's where it's going. They're not going to be holding a seedling, panicking, about where he's going to go. I'm not very good at this, but there are a few rules to follow. Firstly, only hold your seedling by the leaves, never by the stem, always by the leaves. Get your lollipop stick and just very gently start to prise him out a little. Right, I think I just heard him break. <laughs> 
joking me right we're gonna go for this one because i think i just killed that one look um this is not easy i do not find this easy i never have found pricking out easy um what you've got to do is be brave and just get on with it and don't pull oh god look i'm just moving the compost with my mouth <laughs> don't pull on it because if you pull on it you could snap the roots and if you snap the roots it is game over so sometimes you have to go quite deep give him a little tiny soft tug see if he's going to come no it's not yet so i'm going to just keep moving the soil a little bit more you've got to be patient it's not one of my best qualities but you've got to be you've got to learn right he's sort of coming up now he's bringing a lot of his mates with him though it's only you i want not your mates nope i've got him can you see the roots on that you see the roots on that that i've got out with that one little tiny plant that's really good that is <laughs> god it's going right okay get your pot pop him in in no i haven't made the hole deep enough oh no i haven't made the hole deep enough panicking guys in he goes and then fill him up now we're going to press him down a little bit but not too much because we don't want to completely compact him we want him to have enough air bubbles in that soil for his roots to be able to spread through quite easily we want to make life easy for him we want to reward him for not dying straight away so that's excellent right there's our little little one now all you've got to do is do it to the rest of them <laughs> you feel any resistance stop pulling stop pulling i don't really want to kill that one as well so oh we've got two ah oh, there he is why is this working so well this is fantastic right okay this is really good okay God, well done, Celery. I'm so proud of you. Come on, come on. You're such a good one. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please. Oh, no. Oh, God. Stress. Absolute stress. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Oh, yes. Look at that. So I put it on one, two, three, four, five. I don't know how many celeries you get from one plant. So I think I'm going to leave it at five and just get rid of these and then re-sow with celery again to succession sow it later on because I, I, I have a feeling you get quite a few stems I don't think it's like one stick of celery I think it's quite a few and like I like celery but like I'm not like celery mad it's not like my favourite food ever so <laughs> so with any old compost like this that you've used I just get a bucket and just chuck it all in mix it up and then with all that compost you know you can add goodness to it you can add some more multi-purpose compost to it or something or you can just use it to like mulch stuff like don't waste it um you could even start new seeds with it because like i said seeds don't need a lot of nutrients so never waste it just collect it find another use for it So now what we're going to do is put on a couple of things that are too small in their pots and need putting into a bigger pot such as this crystal lemon cucumber which you can see the leaves are starting to go a little bit yellowy not sure if it will show up on camera here but basically it's running out of room the roots are coming through the bottom of the pot and it needs potting on so what we're going to do oh actually there's a trick that we can do let's do the trick let me show you the trick you put your pot your old pot in the pot Right, hang on, we have to take some of that out now. Hang on. Put your old pot in the pot, in the new pot, right? Then you fill around the old pot with compost. We're making a mess, but it's okay, it's the garden. You're allowed to make a mess in the garden. It is a good trick. You've just got to be, like, open-minded about it. It will be a good trick. Now what you do is you take out your old pot, that. We take out the plant so hold it in your hand like that tip it out and then you just put it into the pot and that's it it's potted on it's done it's done oh that's so clever emma oh well done emma that was really good that worked really really well you've got a new a new home now mate and that is how you do it. This is going so well, this video. This is fantastic. Gardening doesn't normally go this well for me. This is brilliant. Um, the next thing I'm gonna put on is, I've sown some Jack Littles. So you can see I put two in here. 
and they're just going to get a little bit, they're going to start fighting soon, you know, it's like siblings, as soon as they get to a certain age they start fighting, so I need to separate them, sorry guys, um, I can't do the trick with this one, so this one is just going to have to be two different pots, and they're different colours, I hope they don't mind that, um, I mean they're not really siblings are they, so I don't think they will mind. Right, I'm a little bit more nervous about this one, because uh, I really, 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 really don't want to kill them very complex medical procedure. It's not medical, but it's like, it's plantical, you know? Botanical, it's a botanical procedure. Is that what botanists are then? Like, plant doctors? Right, they are sort of separating quite well. Right, fantastic. Okay, we've got one, we've got one. Like a pro. Like a flipping pro. Look at this. This could be my greatest video yet. So beautiful. Thank you so much for not dying. And then the last thing I wanted to do today was plant out some of my giant sunflowers, which are just getting really big now. Um, and I've had these in these quite big pots, so they have grown quite well. I think they need to go outside. I just do. They're bending all over the place because they're trying to find the light. Um, and I think they're just ready. So I'm going to stick three out in the garden and I'm going to take four to the allotment plot and, sow them and plant them out there. So we're going to put three in the garden now. So I've dug the hole a lot deeper than I need it to be and that is because I'm going to whack in some multi-purpose compost at the bottom just to give it an extra boost of goodness um, and it also breaks up the soil enough so that the roots will be able to spread. come out which means everyone has come out I hope you've enjoyed watching my vlog today hope you can hear me um, if you have enjoyed watching it if you have enjoyed watching it please subscribe to my youtube channel and I will see you again in my next vlog on Wednesday hope the weather stays nice I think it's probably gonna rain but right now it's lovely and sunny so I hope I brought some sunshine and happiness to your day and I'll see you next time thanks for watching Bye.